back in beautiful British Columbia for another match in the Canadian Premier League. Match week 13 and Pacific hosting their most familiar foe for a 23rd time all time across CPL, Canadian Championship and playoff competitions here in the Canadian Premier League. It is Tommy Wielden Jr.'s Cavalry. Let's start with James Merriman and Pacific. They make four changes to their 4-3-3 today. Cedric Toussaint is back from a yellow card accumulation suspension. Gennaro Daniels replaces Easton Ungaro at the number nine. Josh Hurd into the right wing. Iman Salute to the left wing. And Adonijah Reed will start in behind at the number 10. Try not to meddle too much with a system that is working very, very well. He elects to make just the one change out of necessity with Charlie Trafford out for yellow card accumulation tonight. Eric Hobson slides to his spot beside Jesse Daly in the double pivot. Will Cromack, you and I have seen a lot of these teams lately, and both of them in an incredible run of form. So are we destined for yet another draw between these sides, or do you think we might have a winner? Well, let's hope if this what? guy gets on the ball, we got something. Oh, how about that from nothing? Stuck beside the corner for the defender, Kunle Dali, the bottom and goal number eight for Maya Bevan in the CPL this season. Fast start for Cavalry League leader, of course, and the side he has put together this year has been exceptional. Adonijah Reed lifts it high towards the six, out of the back, across the face of goal, Mayer Shakir at the near post and all alone. Maybe just maybe offside, that will bail him out, but otherwise a chance for a second goal in straight games. Played with a lot of speed and in the air for Marco Carducci, who had no choice but to try and send it wide as fast as possible. Daniels left unattended, cutting it back to Reed over the bar. Ooh, Calgary switching off there. That's not going to be something that uh, is going to impress the coaching staff. After a sea of cavalry opportunities, Pacific Storm on a free kick. This is put in perfectly. Dinich can't place it. Pacific up in arms. Cavalry quickly going away from goal. I think he felt that was in. At least, at least tried to convince them. You know, a lot of the grass guys will say they leave it long because they don't want it to die. Yeah, they're just protecting the grass. Yeah, just protecting the grass. <laughs> all good. There's Antigone. This is a nice sequence from the Cavs. Bevan was offside, still offside, but Cobbs is not. And Cobbs has found the open net. <laughs> Broken play, of course. Exactly how they wanted to go. Hey, listen. Bevan not going for that actually helps that happen. Everybody stops, except for Cobb, it's Cobza. Bevan makes a little movement towards it, doesn't touch it. Perfect. Good, cool finish as well. Well done for the young man to finish that. Well read from Pacific, sliding. There's that little link play though. And now air to the middle for Bevan. Backfield. Here's Ayr, plays your end, makes it a second. Meyer Bevan with the sexy little back heel and Frazier Aird makes no mistake. First time and Cavalry have opened a two goal cushion late in this first half. This is outstanding, we're talking about it. We're trying to get them to link, trying to build them to link up with little movements. And they did it, won the ball back on a second and then look at what happened here. Look, here we go again. Surely Pacific can't concede a third in the first half. This is trouble though, it's Moosey. Running at Mayor Shakir, basket comes that down. Had to make that stop and he did. What is going on with the Tridents at the moment? Reed. Parallel across the face of goal. Jammed up Dan Klomp and Josh Hurd. Now Moosey springing over the top. Bevan's gonna get there. He's either gonna have to take this on himself or stall. Bevan fires, tight angle, and not missing the far post by very much. But nine for the most part, and see if that makes a difference. Here's Gote and Tigny in the clear, up basket, who makes another incredible stop. 19 seconds into the half. Would have been the fastest goal ever to start a half in CPL history as Gote and Tigny continues to dazzle. And that makes it really difficult for Pacific to mark. Aired the most recent goal scorer in the box. Basket misses, but the defender at the back post bails him out. 
Kicked off at 6 p.m. local time, sunset not until 9.19. Daly doesn't come away with it the first or second time. Here's Salouf, and then Salouf cuts it back, has to shoot Reed. Why is he not shooting? Twice now, Aparicio gets the scraps. Does that catch the hand of Daly? Scott Bowman thinks so. Took a minute to make up his mind and elects to give the penalty. Nobody is happier than Adonijah Reed. That is an understatement of the year. That was chaotic. What a start to the second half. Reed hit the ball, put it in the net. Manny Aparicio can give Pacific a chance when they really don't deserve it at the moment. Aparicio, but he puts it over the bar. Adonijah Reed doesn't shoot on a wide open net. Mauricio skies it. That is two missed penalties for Pacific. He's done really well today. Some Tigney time. Couple of step overs. Dadaluk doesn't fight, and Tigney pulls the trigger from a tight angle. But it's like they're starting again. These two are two of the most stable clubs, and you can see the quality on the field is better. Oh, that's the other way. And and that's a corner. Huge, huge moment. Between Ongaro and Reed, this is a great dummy here by Manny. Look at this. Right there, bang. Just a little slow. Faster than Reed, mind you, but. They have to start being more efficient with these set plays. Into the 69th minute, it's too deep. They're looking for Didich again. Right back in the mixer from Vliet. Redirected on frame by Herb. Got to get them, those two going again, big time. Ayman Salouf. Back and centralized. His pass out wide for the skipper, Herb. Herb waits for reinforcements. It's a great comeback pass. Karuchi takes left and denies Sean Young. Perfectly placed strike. Karuchi screen. Posing the toughest challenges and asking a heck of a lot of questions of this defensive unit for the Cavs. Corner taken short. Now it's in the box. Cut back. Chasing it down. Aparicio is on a hand battle. Looked like it cut Cam on the cross anyways. And he's in a go on the doorstep. A borderline alley-oop and Pacific have life. Aston Ungaro in the 72nd minute has his fourth of the season tied for the team lead with Salouf again. I mean, this all starts from a corner where they've Calgary switched off. They've let them take a short corner. That could have been handball. It's done ever so well to dig that out. Long ball ahead into the mixer. Headed across. It's Marish again. Lays it down and skies it. He had the game on his feet, but Cavalry survive. Seven wild minutes of added time.